Cylindrically polarized beams are laser beams that show cylindrical symmetry both in polarization and intensity distribution. They have very unique physical properties when compared to the common linearly polarized beams. For example, a radial polarized beam can be focused to a much smaller spot size using an objective with high numerical aperture. On the other hand, an azimuth polarized beam maintains perfect zero intensity at the center of its focal point, permitting higher spatial resolution to be reached in stimulated emission depletion microscopy. In this image, you see three-dimensional plots of different polarized beams, each shown at a given moment in time. The polarization state of the electric field is indicated by the black arrows. The most common form is a linearly polarized beam with a Gaussian intensity distribution depicted on the top. The two bottom images are the most popular forms of cylindrical vector beams. They show azimuthal or radial polarization, having a donut-shaped intensity distribution. These two cylindrical beams can be easily converted between each other using two half-wave plates. They have to be orientated in a way that the fast axis have a relative angle of 45 degrees. In this work, we present a novel optical fiber-based device that is able to filter an arbitrary polarized input beam such that only a donut-shaped azimuth polarized beam remains. The device operates over broad bandwidth covering most of the visible up to telecommunication wavelengths. The operation principle of the fiber is shown in this image. The photonic crystal fiber consists of a hexagonal array of air channels, depicted here in light blue, which are running through the entire length of the fiber. They are placed in a matrix of fused silica. However, the center of the core is modified by introducing a gold nanowire. On the left, you see a scanning electron micrograph of the real structure. We have four rings of air channels surrounding the core. The wire itself has a diameter of around 600 nanometers. The fiber is designed to support only three core modes in our desired wavelength range and are shown on the right. One is linearly polarized and the other is azimuth and radial. Broadband arbitrary polarized light is coupled to these core modes. Now, the gold nanowire is responsible for the physical effect. Since gold is a highly lossy material for optical frequencies, the different modes show different attenuation. The free electrons of the metal are very sensitive to the polarization of the light inside the core. Modes with electric field components normal to the wire are strongly absorbed. This means that the mode with the azimuth polarization shows the lowest loss and is transmitted by the fiber, while all other modes are strongly attenuated. So at the output, we have a single mode beam with the desired cylindrical symmetry. The experimental procedure to characterize the fiber properties is quite easy. We use a collimated supercontinuum light source shown as the yellowish dot on the sheet of paper. The light goes into a microscope objective that is placed on a translation stage and can move in every direction in space to improve the incoupling into our fiber. We have a very long unfilled part to filter away unwanted cladding modes and only the very last few centimeters are filled with gold. The end piece is also placed on a translation stage. The end face of the fiber is imaged with another objective and an alignment mirror onto a CCD camera. The inset video shows the optical near-field image of the mode, so far without a polarizer between objective and camera. Inserting a linear polarizer in the beam path allows us to determine the polarization state of the beam. At the moment, the transmission axis of the polarizer is vertical to the optical table and the two lobes in the video are orientated parallel to this axis. Rotating the polarizer leads to a rotation of the lobes. Note that no wavelength filter is inserted, so you really see the full spectrum that can be detected with the camera. We believe that this novel device has great potential for applications in STED microscopy, allowing simultaneous excitation of different molecules. Also, radially polarized beams are suitable for direct coupling to surface plasmons on metallic nanowires as well as for super-resolution imaging.